Hello, I'm going to share a coffee filter and water-based marker uh, techniques today. Of course, the thing I like to do is miniature kites using coffee filters. And yes, they actually do fly. First of all, we'll need some coffee filters. Uh, so these are just your basic diffusion paper coffee filters. The markers, I prefer Crayola brand markers. Um, not the washable version. I like the uh, regular teacher preferred version. We're going to need some water. And so we need a water squirter, something that will squirt a, a mist of water. And we're going to use some salt also, some regular table salt. So we'll get started on a coffee filter here. Got our waterproof uh, underneath it. All right, so I'm going to start off. I'm just going to do a bunch of blues. Okay, so we're just going to do some random abstract designs. Spread it around. If there's a little bit of white showing, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. The colors will blend. I'll go back. Now I'm looking for white spaces that I may have too much white. I'll just fill some of that in. And in your experimenting, you'll find out what color combinations work well and which ones don't. We're gonna add a little water to it now. I'm gonna spray the outside edge first, just to lay it down. Now, I don't wanna to put too much water on it. Too much oversaturation kills the effect. Spread it out, take the little puckers out, the little bubbles out. I'm looking to see if there's enough water on there. Looks like there's enough. Okay, now I'm gonna add the salt. And the salt only works one time. You have to put it on while the coffee filter's wet. And just a pinch. So this is about all that's needed. It's just a little bit, okay? Too much, and what happens is it doesn't work as well, and it creates little black spots. So the salt is kind of pushing the color pigment away, absorbing the water, but pushing the color pigment away. And so it creates little white spots. So now what we have to do is we have to just wait for this to dry. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes now and it's pretty close to being dried. So what we have to do is brush off the salt that's on here and we're just gonna rub that off and into the garbage. Hey, we're going to do a little video here on making the miniature kites out of those coffee filters that we did earlier. So we've got a couple of three inch miniatures that we're going to be uh, showing you how to make those. We're going to need some kind of structure for the, uh, the, the back, some spars basically uh, to support the kite. And so what we're going to be using is some monofilament, some fishing line. This is a 12 pound fishing line. And uh, when it comes off the spool, it, it's coiled. So we need to straighten it out. And how that's done is we're gonna put it on this block of wood um, and we're gonna have to bake it in the oven for only about 15 minutes at 325 degrees for 15 minutes. And what we'll do is we're gonna tie it on to the uh, screws at the end of this. This is about a 12 inch piece of wood. Tie the line on one end, wrap it around, wrap it around, and then tie it off on the other end. Or take it out of the uh, oven, let it cool, make sure you don't touch the metal screw screws, then cut off the, uh, the monofilament. And what you get is these 12-inch uh, strands. So we've got some line here. And uh, one of these is enough for a, a kite. Uh, we're also gonna need some uh, tail for these. And so this is just from a dollar store. It's just tinsel or foil shreds. It comes from the dollar store, it's like Christmas tinsel. Uh, we're gonna need some thread. Uh, the thread can be any sewing thread. So there's enough here for about 75 kites. We're gonna need some Aline's glue, tacky glue, or um, Elmer's glue works just as well. School, school glue works. We're gonna need some scotch tape. We're gonna need some tweezers, scissors, little ruler. A little pencil. We're going to need a template, um, and this is just cut out of a piece of uh, cereal box, but it's a, a three-inch template, and we have the positive and negative versions of the uh, images that we're going to be using. 
either one will work and it's just to uh, put on the coffee filter move this around to find the design that you like best so now what we're going to do is we've got our uh, coffee filter down this is one that i've done individual uh, designs on and so all i'm doing is just placing this template on there where i like the design i'm just tracing inside you can use a sharpie I just like using the metallic markers. And then what we'll do is we'll cut that out. And so here's one here that's already cut out. And what we're gonna need now is the glue. So it just takes a little dab of glue. I'm doing this on a piece of uh, cardboard. That's no big deal. Just a little dab of glue. We're gonna get our monofilament, our fishing line. And so I'm just lightly dragging that through the glue and it'll glob up on there a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to take my finger and run my finger along that just to get the big globs off. And I'm going to start at the top and I'm overlapping just a little bit. So this will have just a slight little overlap. And just go right down the center. I'm going to take my finger now and just rub along that. And that just presses it down. Just take your little tweezers, just get a little dab of glue. Put that on the uh, spar, on the fishing line there. Press it down again. And so that one's done. So now what I need to do is just cut that off. I can use scissors and I can leave a little tail on there, not a big deal. And now I'm gonna go, die, uh, go across it, same thing. And it's about three inches, so just drag that lightly through there. I uh, got lucky on that one. Don't have a lot of big globs on that one. And just make sure you have glue at the very tips. You need to have some glue at least at the very tips. Press that down in the center. And all I need to do is let that dry. We'll go ahead and cut these extra pieces off. So we have the spars on the back. We're gonna mark one inch down on the center of this. Just going down. Now this is on the front side. We're just gonna put a little dot one inch down and that's where we're gonna attach the um, flying line. So we're gonna need our thread. Now for this, we only need a sliver of tape. So it's about a quarter of an inch long and an eighth of an inch wide. So it's just a sliver, just a tiny, tiny sliver. Now what I need to do is tie the string the kite string onto that. So I make a loop first. And then I just slide the loop over the tape. And I press it down. And I'm going to double knot this. So a little square knot on there. Now I'm just going to use the tweezers to set that. Get that dot right on. Press that down. Cut off my extra string there that I don't need from the knot. Okay, so that's done. The next part is taking another sm small piece of tape. <clears throat> Tinsel, the tail material. And I usually just place it underneath that little piece of tape sticking out. Use the tweezers to press it on it. So just half of the tinsel is on the tape. So you just have a little piece of tinsel attached to the tape because we need the tape that goes right on the back of the kite at the bottom. And just press that down. And then the next step would be is we're gonna need to give the kite a little bit of a, a bow or a dihedral. So I'm just pinching it in half not all the way. I'm not flattened or, you know, pressing it completely flattened out. And so here we have our little miniature and we'll get a little video of that flying here.